you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally going to be sharing with you the first episode or edition of my holiday home tour. As you can see, we will be touring the kitchen today. So I hope that you guys enjoy this and let's get started. All right, so I'm sure you guys are familiar with this view and where I'm at. I am walking into the kitchen from the dining room area and here is like a little overview of the room. There is the living room and here is this overhang above the man cave, which I kind of always include in my kitchen tours since it is right next to the kitchen. So we are going to start on this side and here is our island. I would have to say that this area, this small area of the kitchen is probably my favorite to decorate in the kitchen. Um, it's very simple and plain, but I love the wooden board that we use to kind of set everything on. As you can see, I have a few things sitting on this wooden board that I purchased from Target. It is featured in one of my Target hauls. And then I am burning a Bath & Body Works candle. I'm not sure what candle I'm burning because I did recently take the sticker off of the uh, jar. I realized that Bath & Body Works now has like the removable stickers and I just think that Without the stickers, um, it gives the candle a little bit more of a cleaner look. Even though the packaging is always really, really cute, I did decide to go ahead and remove that. But like most Bath & Body Works candles, it smells amazing. So right next to that, I have this really pretty rose gold lantern that I kind of disassembled in my Decorate With Me video for this room. Um, I took the battery lit candle out of there and then I stuck a bunch of pine cones. And in that video, I called them acorns, but <laughs> they are indeed sparkly pine cones. And I just stuffed that entire lantern up with those. And then right on the top of that, I have some faux sparkly mistletoe. I did do a haul for this stuff, but I have been really slacking on my YouTube channel lately, so I'm hoping I can still get that up in time before Christmas at least, but this little faux set of mistletoe did come from Michaels. I love that it's got some really pretty sparkles on it and some nice deep red berries. And then on the side of that, I just have this little green and red present. This did actually come off of a garland that we purchased a while ago, and I wasn't able to get it back on securely, so I just decided to kind of keep it disattached and use it in a different area. So that is what our kitchen island looks like. It's pretty basic, and I didn't do too, too much, but I think that just having the pops of colors is really, really cozy. So then moving on, I'm going to start over here. Um, right in this corner, we have a glass container of some apples, which we always enjoy daily. And then I have this adorable Santa Claus cookie jar. Of course, we don't have any cookies in here right now. Like I said, I've just been slacking kind of in life recently. So, um, yeah, he's a cookie jar, but unfortunately he has no cookies inside. Um, but I did purchase this guy last year, I believe, on clearance. Like after the Christmas sale, I think he was 75% off whatever his original ticket price was. And I believe I purchased him from Target. So I always recommend trying your luck out with those after Christmas sales. You will hear the after Christmas sale word used quite a lot in my home tours for this holiday season. And then I have this Santa Claus sitting on this really unique slice of wood that I purchased from Home Goods not too long ago. And then moving on here, we just have our sink. Um, this is all the normal stuff that has been in my previous home tours. So continuing on down the counter space, we have this really cute, I guess, I don't know, this little nutcracker as a chef. Matt actually found this at Walgreens during one of those after Christmas sales and he purchased it for our kitchen. I think that it's really cute and definitely applies well only to the kitchen. And then in this corner, we have, again, a lot of the basic stuff that I always have over here. I have this wooden easel. And then I have this little um, chef type of wall art in the center and a slab of marble that I recently purchased from Home Goods, a little log slice with a little trinkets um, dish 
that I believe says Mr. and Mrs. I purchased that from Home Goods. My future Mrs. Schaefer mug that I found and purchased from Etsy. And then I have a candy dish filled with red and green M&Ms. Super festive and those go pretty quickly in the house. So I have a huge bag of backup or reserve. And then I have our uh, olive oil dispenser and then two golden pine cones um, sitting right next to that. And then moving along, I have a really, really cute light up Santa Claus nightlight. I think he is adorable. I think Matt's grandparents gave this to us, I believe. And then right over here, I have this ice bucket or it's supposed to be an ice bucket that is covered in rhinestones. It is so sparkly, especially in person. The camera is definitely not doing it justice, but it's beautiful in person. And I have decided to keep all of our utensils, our cooking utensils right in there, just so that this gets a little bit more use and I'm able to admire its beauty a little bit more other than just sitting out waiting to be used as an ice canister. So that is how I have been using this. And then we have our stove. Um, again, this is just a lot of repeats, but I have a candle holder that I purchased from Target during their like after summer sale. And then I have an Urban Irma candle in there. It is a soy candle and I love it. And then on top of here, I have two little like cafe espresso type wall art pieces. And my mom purchased those for me. And then right in the center, I have this super sparkly candle that I recently purchased and talked about in a home goods haul. Then we have our little Keurig and Keurig carousel in this corner. And then here is our holiday mug collection. I definitely want to add more to this. I've kind of designated this bottom shelf of our mug area to seasonal mugs. So I will definitely be out on the lookout for new seasonal mugs each season. And then we have our fridge. So I'm just gonna walk on over to this corner of the room. I already have our January calendar up. I was ahead of the game in this aspect, kind of. We are waiting and ready for the new year. So here is our new 2017 personalized calendar that I have each year. And then, yeah, this is all the same stuff. Now here is some more like actual decorations. So these are the, the stairs to go down into the family room. And right over here, I have this really beautiful wooden rustic distressed mirror that I purchased from Kirkland's. And surrounding that, I have these really cute string of, again, pine cones. Uh, I always wanna say acorns for some reason, but I have a string of pine cone garland and I love this. I think it is super, super rustic looking, very, very cute. But um, there are some sparkly pine cones as well as some sparkly berries. They are not a like bright red berry. It's, and then it also has a few little areas of pine. So yeah, I really, really, really like this, especially with this um, mirror. I just think that the two really go well together since they are both a little bit more rustic. And then I have this tiny boxwood wreath hanging in the center of that. Uh, and then I have another little floral pine arrangement and I purchased this from Michael's recently. And then right in the corner here, I have the first ever handmade Christmas gift from Aiden. This was made in his preschool last year and I, I love this. I did have to empty out the water and the glitter that was in here. I don't know, it just started to get really moldy and stinky. So I had to kind of clean this out, but I definitely did not want to get rid of it. So that is what we have in this corner. And then moving along, I was gonna do something really awesome with this huge wall decor for the season, but again, slacking in life has really hit me hard. And moving on to this very decorated wall. We have this really beautiful tree that everyone always comments on in my videos. This was purchased from Home Goods. I did add quite a few hanging crystals to give it a really pretty glammy type appearance. And then what I do with this tree each year or each Christmas or holiday time is add some personalized ornaments. 
and I did mention these in my decorate with me video for the kitchen but I purchased the majority of these from walgreens.com I did purchase this one this one and the cute little Aiden 2011 one from personal creations and so I kind of add on to my like personalized ornaments each year i just think it's a cute festive way to kind of decorate this tree as well and then right over here i have this black paneled wall art and this i purchased again from the after christmas sale at michael's this is beautiful i think i'm definitely not really into black or dark wall decor especially recently but i thought that this fit in really easily and well so i put it out and i'm really happy that i did i really like this so as you can see it says may this season bring joy to your heart the gold letters are covered in glitter which you guys know i love and then on this floating shelf we just have two other little paperweight crystals down here nothing has really changed we have these two wooden blocked picture frames that i purchased from a craft store a really really tiny little tea lit candle holder with a bath and body works candle inside of that and then on this floating shelf over here we have the picture that i always keep out this panel this is my happy place um little wall art that i purchased from the target dollar spot and then in the center of those two things i have an arrangement of just red and green type of glittery goodness i purchased this i believe from the store at home after christmas so down here we have a stack of presents and some lights um a couple presents down here and then this really cute reindeer i did recently just put him back here i did have something else sitting on here but he almost toppled over and it would have been a big big fall so I changed this one out I know a lot of you guys liked the nutcracker that we had up here and I did too but he was a little bit more pricey and he is a little bit more fragile this reindeer I purchased from Walmart he was pretty inexpensive and so if he were to topple over down into that man cave uh, it wouldn't be a huge loss for us so that is what we have up here and then I have some lit up garland going all the way down to the family room. And so yeah, here is that wall that many of you guys comment on. And that about does it for this home tour. I hope that you enjoyed it. Tomorrow I will be doing probably the family room home tour. I didn't even get to have my decorate with me video go up. I did record a lot of it, but I wasn't able to edit it in time. And I just figured that the decorating season is definitely long gone. So I'm sorry about that, but I will be doing a holiday home tour. So you will be able to see all of those decorations and know where I purchased at least the majority of them. But yes, I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please make sure to subscribe and join my YouTube family. Also make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Until then, take care. Bye.